Adoption. So for some, it means so much joy, and then for others, it actually symbolizes a lot of sorrow. And for me, being adopted has always been a complex combination of both. You see, I was born in 1974 at the end of the Vietnam War, and I don't really know much about my biological family, except for I'm the youngest of multiple siblings, and my mother left me in an orphanage when I was six weeks old in hopes that I would find safe passage to the United States. And as destiny would have it, I was adopted by a loving couple. He was a Baptist pastor, she was a nurse, and they lived in Colorado. And a lot of times we joke that my upbringing was kind of like a bad version of the Joy Luck Club and Footloose all combined together. <laughs> but if we're being honest here, you know, being adopted is such a complex thing. And there's been so many times where it's left me wanting and wondering and really asking myself, who do you think you are? Who are you? When I was a little girl, I was about five years old, and I knew I was different, but I didn't realize how different I really was. So I was at a family reunion, and there was some guy, and he said, whose kid is that? And I looked at him, and I was like, oh, he's talking about me. And that's when I noticed I was the only little brown face at that little family reunion. And as a teenager, you know, we all want to fit in. We all want to belong. But for me, a sense of belonging and identifying with an actual race which just meant everything. I went so far as to actually put tape on my eyelids so they would look more open and awake. But we all grow up, and as I launched into early adulthood, I felt much more comfortable with my physical appearance. And let's just face it, by now I had discovered boys and boys had discovered me. <laughs> and at 22, I met the love of my life, and he swept me off my feet, and he asked me to marry him, and I did. And when with and in the middle of all the love and bliss, I gave birth to three beautiful children. But even in all those moments of blessing, I was still had sobering moments where I was reminded that I was adopted. Like when I went to the doctor when I was pregnant with my first child, and the doctor said, I need to know your family health history, diabetes, cancer, anything. And I had to say, I don't really know, because I don't know my family. But one of the hardest moments was when I was watching television with my kids and there was a TV show on about how people retrace their family tree and go back to the root of everything to understand who they are. And my daughter turned to me and she said, that's so sad, you don't even have a family. You don't have a family tree. My heart just like sunk in my stomach. And I kind of said to myself, come on, in a planet full of seven billion people, there's got to be someone out there that's related to me, my biological family. So I sincerely thought, it's time for me to start looking. And so I did what every good detective would do. I went straight to Google. <laughs> I typed in my Vietnamese name every which way I could, and I hit the, are you feeling lucky button. <laughs> Not one single thing came back. So being the resourceful person that I am, I gathered up all of my files, my paperwork that was in Vietnamese, and I took them to the one person who I knew could help me, the lady who does my nails. <laughs> Okay? Laugh if you will. But the funny thing is, is she herself was a refugee from Vietnam. And her and I shared the same last name. And so there was this anticipation and this excitement that I might actually find my biological family. But it was equally countered by the fear that I don't. And these two emotions started to really wrestle inside of me. And I just had a lot of sleepless nights. And one night I woke up my husband and I said, what happens if I just never find him? Will I ever feel whole? And in simple words, as only my husband can say, he said, who knows? But we love you. We're your family. And it was in that moment that life's not so perfect that that became life's perfect portion for me. And I got up, and I went in my kid's room, and I kissed them goodnight while they were sleeping, and I realized there was a real miracle right there before me that was always inside of me. And now I get to grow my own family tree. I'm the start, the root of it all. And when I think about adoption, it's really less complicated and it's much more full of blessing and joy than it is anything else. And if you actually look up the definition, it says to choose or to take as one's own. And that's exactly what I've decided to do, is just pretty much adopt myself. And the most ironic thing is the one thing that sent me on this full circle journey was the desire to find family. And I had family all along. I had a husband that adores me and three beautiful children who are, guess what? my own flesh and blood. And because I recognize this and I embrace this and I live this, I know without a shadow of a doubt, I will never ever ask myself again, who do you think you are? <laughs>